A couple of years ago, the Year Sixers went on a tour of the Bosch headquarters and part of their factories. And when we left, they gave us a 3D printer. So this is the print pad where a 3D printer prints onto your computer or the plans in this disc here along the lines of those wires so that this nozzle up here knows where to go and what to do. This is the plastic filament which goes in there. It gets heated up in here and comes out the nozzle as a molten plastic liquid which dries and starts to form the next layer. So on the touch screen here, I'm just going to press build the child's dice. Build and off it will go. Floor is starting to move up. You can see the temperature is climbing. So it started off in a round shape. And you can see some of the holes of the dice just there. You can just see those two holes. It won't be solid all the way through. It's going to be quite hollow, but still have some plastic bits across for some structural support. Every now and again you see the platform just drop a little bit as it goes. So that's the plastic spool where it feeds up through that tube up to the nozzle. Pretty much covered over the top now. There's the finished product. If it just unclips there. The platform slides out. Still stuck on the platform, but a gentle little push will get it to come off, I think. There we go. The layers, it's sort of been built up a bit like sedimentary rock. Would still need a bit of a sand off. I'm just starting the tree frog here. Getting it off here without breaking any of those toes is quite tricky, but we'll give it a go. Oh, it came off quite well. There he is. That would look very lifelike. So as it builds up these angled posts, I'm wondering how it's going to support the beams that go across them. There, it's just put one tiny little strand across. There you go, now it's gone for two strands. And that's enough to build the bridge. Got the platform built across midair. Pretty clever. Now this plastic is much the same as what they use for Lego blocks. There's the nearly extinct white rhino. All sorts of things can be done with 3D printers now. Different colors and even SpaceX rockets. Prosthetic limbs. And depending what you put in instead of plastic, body organs. Just imagine flexible material in a 3D printer, even hearts, houses, models for animation, and even food.